I was recently having a conversation with a friend and we were talking about drop shipping. He was going to start his drop shipping account up and he was going to start uh, selling items. Perfect, no problems. And I was speaking about this whole idea of building authority and getting people away from the platform that you're on. He was on TikTok, I'm on Twitter. He's a drop shipper, I'm a graphic designer. But still, I wanted to give my two pence worth. And my whole idea is to try and get people away from Twitter. One, because your Twitter account may not last forever. And that that might not be what happens. You might get shadow banned. You might get banned for whatever reason. So you know my whole strategy on Twitter is to try and get people over to Orange Club. It's to try and get them inside the course. Once they're inside the course, they join the network. The network's on Discord. So already we've got Gumroad and we've got Discord. Now, what also happens is when you sign up for the course, obviously uh, Gumroad gives you an email access. So I get access to people's emails who've signed up to the course and I can send them a newsletter which they can openly unsubscribe to if they don't feel like they want it. But there's three ways that I've just got you away from Twitter. Now, his whole idea was, I'm going to start up on TikTok and I'm going to sell this item. Now, the problem is, when he done his advertisements, after the first, second, people were just switching off. People's attention spans are absolutely fucked. You've got to understand this. Uh, it, it, it's quite difficult to, to get someone's attention span. So you need to get people away from the platform. And how do you do this? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to build some sort of authority. How to build authority is on Twitter. We're trying to build this audience. Once we've got the audience, we're trying to gauge that audience and we're trying to get them away from Twitter. The whole idea will make you more money in the long term. And it's also build your community that is much more tighter. I mean, I have people replying to my tweets all the time, but the ones that are in my Discord network, I mean, these are the people that I'm super tight with, you know, and the network of individuals that I've got, you know, I've got one. On Twitter, I've got a group chat with 75 individuals and I've got a group chat on Discord, like a big network on Discord with over 250 people. Now, the 75 people are also in the Discord. So the 75 people I am very, very close with. And on Twitter, you're going to encounter a lot of people, some that may like you, some that may not like you. And the ones that do like you, you want them to get away from Twitter and you want to get them somewhere else.